Hello and welcome to Ready Set. Hello, I don't believe this is working. It doesn't seem like it's working. Give me a second. I'm gonna test out some things here. Seems like, okay, there we go. Now it's working. But welcome to Ready Set. I am Ready Set and I hope you all have a fantastic evening this evening. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. On my channel, I predominantly cover indie games. So, 98% of the time you will see indie games on my channel. And I typically stream. Yeah, I have no idea why this is. Like, it seems like it's having some issues. Let's see. Let's see, is it having some issues? Well, we'll see. Um, but I typically stream indie games on my channel, much like the like I have no idea why this is. You know what? Give me a second. I'm gonna um try to reload it and see what happens. Because it seems like my uh, VTuber. It's not working. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do then. Give me one quick second. And I'm going to fix this. Digital 
And I just realized you can't even hear me. So that happened. <laughs> oh, this is just starting out to be one heck of a stream. Um, anyway, as I was saying, welcome. I am Ready Set, and on my channel, I predominantly cover indie games, much like the one you see here. And I typically stream Tuesdays, no, not Tuesdays, what am I saying? Whoops. Fridays and Saturdays, normally from 11 usually starting at about 11 it kind of just depends um on what i can do so it, usually anywhere between 8 and 11 but this week i did thursday and friday and today and today we have four games on the card we're going to be doing a variety show and so we are going to be doing floppy nights then we're going to be doing golfy then we will be doing melatonin the demo and then Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. Those are the games that are on the card for this evening. <laughs> yeah, that was a mouthful. Um, of course, as always, if any of if you would like to know the games that I am playing tonight and their information, there is the information there. You just simply click on that link and it's gonna take you to a Google Doc. And that Google Doc will give you all the information you would need. I just need to update real fast because I forgot to put the price in for one of the games. So that's my fault because I'm usually on top of these things, but because I'm streaming at a time that's not usually my normal time, um, I forgot to update the information accordingly. So let me do that real quick. I think we're good on everything else. This one I think is $17.99 USD for a certain amount of time. So let's update that to June the 2nd. Okay. So I hope you all are having a fantastic evening because, yeah. Uh, this didn't start off as I would have liked. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started with our first game. And that is Floppy Night. So it's probably gonna get lot like really hot for me because I have to turn on the um uh, I have to turn on a light so that it captures me. So yeah. It's probably gonna get pretty hot for me. Um So let's do floppy night. And these should grab automatically. Because I didn't get a chance to test them. I forgot because I ended up taking a nap. Oh, that is pretty loud. Hopefully that's better. 
And so our first game of the evening is Floppy Nights, and this is available on PC and Mac OS through Steam. As I have stated before, if you click on the link there or use exclamation point GOTW, it will give you all of the information for the games that I am playing tonight. Phoebe, is it complete yet? Just a sec, Carlton. Advanced robotics are not that simple. I have waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Implementing an upgrade for me should only take 30 minutes. Maximum. 30 minutes? Are your math processors broken? Relax, almost there. Just a few more screws and then... Alright, you're ready. Ready for what? This! I just finished installing a floppy disk drive on you. What does this floppy disk do? You're about to find out. I put a very special program on this one. Ooh, can we test it out? Sure can. Fascinating. Look at that little guy. I call them floppy knights. They're tangible projections I made by sequencing elemental magic into code. They could touch things, grab stuff, and in this one's case, kick my tools. Mom and Dad are always on me to take on a magic profession. But I keep telling them magic is overrated. Science is the real magic. I was thinking these floppy knights could help us take on odd jobs around town. Let me show you how to use them, Carlton. I am ready whenever you are. Alright, let's go over the basics, Carlton. Loading training simulation. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know. Correct. However, it is important to have fun while you work. This floppy knight is called Succulent Kicker. We'll practice by fighting him with another floppy knight I've made. Meet Captain Thistle. They're a commander unit, sort of like our team leader. Oh, I can see their stats right here. HP is their health. If it reaches zero, they'll be removed from the field. Attack is how much damage they do. Speed is how many tiles they can move. And RNG is the distance they can attack range. To play the unit, we select the card with A. Wait, Captain Thistle is on the map. You can see their HP number in the bottom, which is 5, okay. Now that they're here, let's use them. Each turn I command to generate special cards for us to use. And we draw 5 cards of our own from the deck. Oh, I get it. Now that a unit is on the field, we can play other cards on them. But we have limited energy every turn, correct? That's right. We can see how much energy each card costs here. Anything we don't play gets discarded at the end of our turn. And we'll be reshuffled into our deck when we run out of cards. Now, let's use Captain Thistle's special card to move. Each unit can move a number of tiles equal to their speed stat. There are a couple of ways that a unit can attack. See the little icon on Captain Thistle? Each unit gets one free attack each turn that causes no energy to use, okay? If you see the sword icon on a unit, that means they haven't used their free attack yet. We should press A on Captain Thistle to activate their free attack. Victory! Notice that the sword icon is gone now, which means we use Captain Thistle's free attack. The sword will come back every turn, remember to use it. We did it, Carlton. Nice work. We did it, we did it. Like those. Phoebe, that was incredible. We are so powerful. 
Everything worked perfectly. We should try this out on a real gig. I estimate we are ready to take on the job and make some sick cash. I love when you use human phrases, Carlton. Let's go. Mom, Dad, Phoebe, I hope we're not interrupting anything. Your mother and I wanted to talk about how I need to get a job. I know you've told me like a million times. Phoebe, you're 16 years old. You've been shut up here tinkering away at all this stuff for so long. We're worried about you, honey. I demand you get out there and enjoy life. Take on some responsibility. Get a job. It'll be great for you. You might even make a few friends. I have friends, Mom. I have Carlton. Yes, but you've built Carlton. No offense, dear. None taken. Listen, I have a plan, so I won't have to get some boring job. I'll even make enough money to buy my own place. You're, wow, your own house, huh? You really do have lofty goals. Everyone else my age is doing it. I can't fall behind. I've made an inv invention that will help us take on work. And I've completed it just in time for the Gadget Cup competition, too. If I win that first place cash prize, I'll have all the cash I need. The Gadget Cup, that's the science tournament they hold in town every year, right? Right, and this year, I'm finally old enough to compete. We'll make some quick cash if we win. You know, having regular responsibilities and people that depend on you isn't such a bad thing. I've been able to use my fire magic to do all the sniffing for all of Toggle Town. And everyone loves her for it. We're always indicted with thank you cakes. We had to get a second fridge. Phoebe, we're really proud of how talented you are with all this technology stuff, but this plan of yours doesn't work. We'll have to go work you'll have to go work as a blacksmith with your mother, at least until you find something more stable. Fine. This'll work though. I've already got our first job lined up for us. Just give me a couple of days. We'll leave you to it, honey. Okay. We're here. The job board said to meet at this farm on the outskirts of town. I wonder who our client is. Oh, it all sounds so official. Client? Job? Look at this, Phoebe. Soon we will no longer be an unnecessary burden on your parents. Jeez, Carlton. We really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, hey, are you the one who posted the job? <laughs> yep, you must be Phoebe. I thought you said there'd be two of you. There are two of us. I am Carlton, an artificial intelligent arm created by Phoebe. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Er, uh, right. What seems to be the problem? It says here on the job posting that you are, uh, terrorized by vegetarian goblins. <laughs> Listen, kid, I try to keep a tight farm, but every day those forest goblins are snatching up all my crops. Perhaps we can grow you some more carrots. How hard could it be? That sounds like a lot of work, Carlton. <laughs> I just need you to keep watching, keep them away from my crops. I love keeping watch. I do not need to blink, so I am very proficient at it. Okay, but I'm going to need some kind of down payment here. Uh, seeds? I'm at cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You can make a lot of money planting those. Now go take care of my goblin problem. Fine, but you better leave a good tip when we're done here. Carlton, we'll post up over there by the target site. What? The goblins, they're right over there. I told you I'm proficient at keeping watch. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. I don't know what kind of magic this way is using to make food come out of the ground, but I'm just loving it. Let's fill the bags up. <laughs> Those little punks! What are you waiting for? Go get them! That old start. To win this battle, defeat all the enemies. You got it. We only have Captain Fizzle, huh? Okay. We can let other units take as many hits as we want, but our commander is the leader. If their HP reaches zero, we lose. We can highlight any enemy and then press the Y button. 
and see their movement and attack ranges. Just keep an eye on our enemies to keep our commander safe. Okay. Exactly tell me how to shuffle through the cards. Okay, because I was like, yeah, it didn't tell me how to shuffle through the cards. I didn't think that through. It's in our turn. It's legitimately not gonna... I guess it won't let me end my turn until... Oh. I'm like, it wouldn't let me end my turn, but then I saw. Now that one has to, I knew it wasn't going to come out. I was like, I was trying to figure it out, but I got it. And so tonight's discussion question, as I always ask one, is do you prefer digital or physical media? Or does it depend on the media? So uh, feel free to answer that in the chat. Wow, leave us alone, you stinky losers. Who you call them a loser? Hey, you little torps, cut it out. Those are mine. Uh-oh, the angry lady's here. Hurry up, grab as much as you can and scram. <laughs> Don't just stand there, chase after them. 
Hey, pretty sure that's out of our scope of work. As if. You didn't scare them at all. They're going to be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought this was going to be easy. I'm paying you to get to the root of this problem. Is that some vegetable humor? Haha, <laughs> nice. Go. Jeez. Okay, we're going. We acquired a card from the last battle. We can add it to our deck here. This is the deck builder. We can add cards to our deck through here. On this side, all of our cards currently in our deck. And on this side is our backpack, all the cards we've collected so far. Cards with the lock and icon on them are base cards. They can't be removed from our deck. Okay. And here's our commander, Captain Thistle. We can switch them out, but only one of the plant commanders. We can remove any card from the deck that does not have a lock. Okay, and store them in the backpack. Okay. Our deck must always have a minimum of 12 cards. This adds Petunia to our deck now. Okay. So we will play another round and then we'll switch to our next game. Oof, man, they got little legs, but they can run fast. Is it really too bad you don't have super strong robotic legs? Carlton, we've been over this. I'm not going full bionic woman, but I am so strong. Being a robot is so cool. You really should try it. Good grief. Haha, <laughs> good grief. Humans say the weirdest things. Phoebe, look. They are using a communication device. Do you think there are other goblins that are allied with? Are you saying there are more of them somewhere? Good grief. Let's deal with these twerps. I want to get paid as quickly as possible. To win this battle, destroy the goblin satellite. Watch out for the enemy spawner. The reinforcements will arrive on these when the countdown reaches zero. Be sure to take care of those enemies quick so we don't get overwhelmed. I don't want to be caught up in. If I had known that, I okay. Hold on. to the world of Indy. Flip to re. We cannot sell. I didn't have enough to sell. They all get to move. Yeah, we didn't do so good. I goofed that. Let's retry. Whoa, okay. Can we skip this? Because we just went through this. Right, we just went through all of this. Hmm. 
We're gonna move. The unit here. Right. gonna end our turn. Get away from now. It's not gonna really do much. Can Petunia, can Spitunia move? If I do that... I gotta move. I have to move our commander. Okay, well, for some odd reason, I can't get Spatunia to attack. that and see what happens. And I have to do this.
And then... Move them back. Back. This is I gotta work out my favorite. Like between it just doesn't seem like Okay. I knew that was gonna happen. If we can play this just right, I doubt it, but We're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna die. I goofed. Maybe not. Oh wow, we did it. We managed to do it. I didn't think we were gonna do it, honestly. I did not win it in five turns or less. So we will take the part. I repeat, the losers are here. We are retreating to the river. What do you think you're going? I'm looking at them right now. They look stinky and mean. Be advised to take caution should you see them. Goblins, fall back. How dare they? We are not stinky or mean. We are nice and cute. Oh, now they made it. Now they made it personal. Come on, Carlton. We're gonna finish the job no matter what. Let's stop these veggie thieves and get our money. And a sincere apology. Verbally and in writing. Way ahead of you. Alrighty. It's making us go through the... So we can make cards.
Might want to throw some of these in our... That might have been helpful. But that is Floppy Nights, and if you like what you saw of the game, again, this recently just came out on Monday. And if you like what you saw, you can click on the link there, and I will give you all of the information for Floppy Nights. Where you can purchase the game, how much the game costs. And I do want to take the time to thank the developer and the publishers of Floppy Nights for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. Alrighty, we're going to move on to our next game, which is Bossy. recently came out on the 26th, I believe. So let me go ahead and change the name of the game. Coffee. Let me make sure I did update. Yeah, I did. Okay. Alrighty. I think this one you if it's going to work cuz doesn't look like it's working at the moment there we go as I say it didn't seem like it was working all right so this is a roguelike deck building mini golf game we're gonna be doing a new run And this is an early access, and I do want to take the time to thank the, the developer and publishers for providing me with a free copy of Coffee to play on tonight's stream. And again, I would like to also take the time to let you all know that the following stream footage of Coffee is an early access version of the game. Therefore, the footage you see may or may not be featured in the final version of the game. Also, there may be some noticeable bugs in the game. Um, definitely let me know if the music's too loud, too, by the way. Systems online, ready to launch. What is going on? Like, okay, I'm not 100% sure how this is working, man. Let me try it with the mouse because. 
It's totally not. It's weird because when I push it to go the other way, it doesn't go. There we go. Now it's okay because I'm like, wow, the energy readings from that crystal are amazing. I could have stretched that injury and used it for more cards. Let's hit it, but I need some height to hit it. Pick a card. Jetpack. Jump. Glider. I'm going to choose glider. Now let's get that hole. <laughs> I think we might call this one kind of short. Because I'm like... Not feeling this one at all. Okay. Unfortunately, that one I can't gel with. It's it's a little weird, but yeah, that's goffy. <laughs> um, I'll give it another go, but it runs kind of kind of strange a bit. Try it again. Maybe I chose the wrong card. Like that too. Like trying to get the cards to go over there. It's kind of strange. Maybe we just need a different card. So maybe we take jetpack instead of the glider. First, let's do that. We're gonna, we're gonna use jetpack and see. Yay! 
idea. Like, it doesn't really explain. Maybe do that. And that. And then that. What in the blue devil? Okay, so maybe it's... Power shot, jet pack, and then mob shot maybe? No, it keeps cutting short. Like the concept of this is cool. do the lob. Maybe do just power shot and jetpack. No, you have to do the lob. Okay, maybe we need to move a little closer. Of course you fall over. Maybe we move a little closer and try that. So we said power shot, jab pack, lob. You've got to be kidding me. Power shot. driving me nuts. Power shot, jetpack, lob, and we were too short. driving me bananas like oh my goodness we're gonna get ready to switch games here Like, it's hard to get the cards to take. Thank goodness. in there let's see like the concept of the game is cool
power shot and a lob shot. Ah, oh, dang it. Maybe do power and curve. We need a power shot right here, though. shop we only got powers so I wonder if I do all three of these will it give me a stronger power shot to do anything we almost had it next stop I want to hit that because that gives us a heart, that's why. shot, lob shot. I can see. We did not get a good, um, uh,
we're definitely not gonna get this one. We kind of have to get it in now, or else we die. That one wasn't exactly easy. Sounds like my neighbor's coming home, so any minute now it's probably gonna be music. Depends on what happens. If my neighbor, like, starts to blast their music, we might end early. And if you like what you saw of Goffy, again, you can pick it up by clicking on the link here. And that will give you a list of all the games that I am playing tonight, where you can get the games, the price, if there's a price for them, and the platforms they're available on. Again, I do want to take the time to thank the developer and publishers of Goffy for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. Alrighty, um, so I'm going to take a very, very quick break. I need to kind of walk. My leg is bothering me a bit, so I need to walk for a few moments. Plus, I also have to check this food, so we're going to do about a 10-minute break. And when I get back, we will go ahead and play our next game, which is called Melatonin. And then after that, we have Arcade Spirits, the new challenger. So I will be back in about 10 minutes. So at this time, if you need to get up and stretch your leg, or maybe you need to grab something to eat, maybe you need to take the dog out, maybe you need to check on your cat, please check on your cat. They're probably into something. Please do so at this time. And in 10 minutes, we will play our next game, which is Melatonin. So I will be back in 10.
Hello and welcome back to Ready Set Indie Games. Hope you all had a fantastic break. Normally I would let that indie game moment played out, but because I have food coming soon, um, I had to kind of push things along. <laughs> so we are going to go into our next game, which is Melatonin, and then we will probably stop the stream there. So that means I will probably be streaming tomorrow. And tomorrow we're probably going to do Arcade Spirits and then um, more of my Tiny Sleep Rock is what we will probably play tomorrow. Um, well, we'll see because my food is supposed to get here between 9.45 or almost 10 o'clock. So. Um, and I want it to be done by at least 9.45. So Melatonin, depending on how it goes, may be our last game for the evening. So. Let us go ahead and switch over to melatonin and go from there. Let's see if this uses controller. Yes, it does. Now, this game is really gorgeous from what I've seen of it. And this is just a demo, so we're not going to play too, too much of this. Uh, we will play this until the stream ends, which is going to be about 9.45. So, please be aware that this game contains visual effects like flashing lights and colors that can affect players who are susceptible to photosensitivity epilepsy. So this does have flashing lights. So with that being said, let me drop a couple of warnings. Um, before that, I would like to thank the publisher and developer for providing us at the Daily Gamepad with a free copy of Melatonin's demo to play on tonight's stream. Welcome, Indian Print. Welcome to the stream. Um, and just so you know, again, that this is a game that has flashing lights, so if you have issues with photosensitivity, epilepsy, this may not be a game for you. So, or watch at your discretion, is that what I should say? Melatonin is a rhythm game that requires precise timing. For a dreamy experience, make sure your song is on and avoid using Bluetooth audio right. Let's start with the basics. Follow the rhythm and hit the A button on beat when the moving circles overlap with the center circle. Done. If that didn't feel right, you can manual cal calibrate the timing of the hit. No, it was fine. It was just me messing up. Now, let's run through a quick tutorial. Melatonin is about recognizing audio-visual cues and reacting to them at the right time according to the rhythm. For the first lesson, pay attention to the cues. They will be hinting for you to react on the fourth beat when the circle overlaps. Okay. All right. Every level in the game will eventually expect you to follow the cues without the visual guide. There will be less guidance for the next lesson, but try to react on the fourth beat like last time. Some levels will have multiple reaction types. For the next lesson, follow the cues and relent with left and right buttons on the second and fourth beat. Okay. Okay, I did that wrong. There will also be times when you, because when they said left and right, I thought they meant L and R, not L, T, and R, T. There will also be times when you need to start and end your reaction at different times. In this final lesson, hold the A button on the third B and let go on the fourth, okay? Mm -hmm. 
every level of the game will have a unique set of audio and visual cues for you to learn and follow. There's a practice mode for each level that guides you through the proper timing, but eventually you'll just have to rely on following the cues. If the game gets too difficult, you can enable assist options in the accessibility settings. And you said for you, physical always. See, I'm more of a digital person, it, but it depends on me. It depends on what the medium is. That's the end of the tutorial. Ready to start the game? Yes, I am. Tomorrow, 9 at 11.30, it's part two of the British espionage thriller. Cliff Robertson and David Soule star in The King to Rebecca. They look like me. Dream about food. Okay. Every level begins a practice mode where the time and circle and metronome will assist you with staying on beat. Uh, see, I'm the I, for me the reason I like digital, as long as it's DRM free, is because I don't like to keep changing <laughs> my um movies or I don't like changing my video games like I could back in the day. And then when I had my son when he was little, he would get into my um, video games and stuff. So now I just buy digital. The simple version of the level helps you get familiar with the cues until you're ready to play without the assist. If you want to use the assist even outside of practice mode, you can enable the options in the settings. Ready to start practice? Mode? <laughs> score mode. I have to actually have my foot to tap. to calibrate. Let's see if that helps, because I'm like, wait a minute. Turn on assist mode. It might not have been that. I want video assist. Because it's supposed to be a chill game. Might still be to... Might still be need to calibrate too. Right. 
I made it super late. Not cool. No, we're gonna restart that one. I did not like that at all. I went too early. Like, for real? Like, I'm getting agitated because either the calibration is off... Which is driving me nuts. said I was late on that. I wish uh, shopping would like that. I would go in the score mode.
yourself up. wasn't that bad. issues but I don't know why Okay, so my food is actually getting here kind of early. Um, exit the map. Let's see. Is there anything else? We have followers. Let's see if I can get followers done before they get here with my food and then we'll switch over to arcade spirits because it does talking
Alright, so we finished practice mode. Let's do score mode. We'll make this the last one for melatonin and then we will switch over to arcade spirit. that comes into it eventually. Because then I can mute and eat. Wait, what's going on? Like it messed up for some odd reason. Calibration is on. We have to exit out. My food is um, literally getting ready to come here soon. But yeah, that is melatonin. I liked it. I just think for calibration, they should let you do a little actual. Instead of you trying to guesstimate where the calibration is, they should they should have like other rhythm games do where it plays the notes and you can calibrate that way as opposed to trying to gauge where you need to calibrate the controller because it's like, I don't know what happened midpoint of the followers one where it just started cutting off for no reason whatsoever. But other than that, I really like the art style. And I did like the music, and it's a very interesting game. So I'm looking forward to the full release. Again, this was just the demo. So there is time for them to make repairs. So, And again, a very big thank you to the developer and publisher of Melatonin for providing us at the dailygamepad.net with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. Alrighty, so we are going to switch into our last game, but for this one I'm going to mute and probably mute the avatar because I'm going to be eating. But our last game is Arcade Spirits, the new challenger. It is completely voiceover, so therefore I don't have to do a lot of reading. Um, so that is what we're going to switch over to, but I will be right back because literally my food is like literally almost here. So I'm going to do another quick break. And then when I come back, we will play Arcade Spirits with the channel.
Okay. Any moment now I'm gonna kick up. But this is Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. It should pick up any moment now because I just turned it on for full screen. Okay. Let's try it this way. Because it did pick it up before. There it is, okay. So this is Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. Um, some of you may be familiar with Arcade Spirits, um, which came out about two years ago. Well, this is the new chapter in this. Um, this is a visual novel, but it has voiceover. So because there is a lot of voiceover in the game, um, there's gonna be times when I mute. Now you may see my VTuber thing doing weird things. Uh, like I said, my food just got here, so I'm eating as well. <laughs> so you might see it do crazy little things like stick for a moment and things like that. So for the most part, because this is voiceover, I'm going to be muting a lot so you guys can hear the voiceovers. Um, but I do want to take the time to thank the publisher and developer of Arcade Spirit, the new challengers, for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's show. So let's go ahead and get into this. Like we're starting off with voiceover. The following is a work of fiction. All references to trademark classic arcade games titles are used under what? Nomative fair use and should not be considered an endorsement by their publishers or creators. For content warrants, see arcadespears.com slash CW. I like the way this starts up. Ultimate team up. <laughs> From as far back as I can remember, my dreams were always one of victory. The war of the crowd, the glim of the goal, pounding action, struggling against all odds to reach the very top. Achievement, recognition, triumph. When you're young, you don't put much thought as to why you crave victory, you just do. You want to be the very best, like no one ever was, uh oh. But now that I'm an adult, I sometimes catch myself in the middle of that single minded pursuit and wonder why. What does victory really mean to me? That's what I want to understand. That's what I need to understand. Because dreams are lovely, but reality can be a real punch in the gut. Fight Shot News Update with Punchy78. What's up everybody, it's your boy Punchy78 here with Fight Shack News. All the fighting that's fit to post. We got the hottest news coming at you about everybody's favorite action strategy esports phenomenon, Fist of Discomfort 2. If you've ever wanted to go pro and play games for a living, now's your chance. The FOD2 Pro Tour is starting this year. Major esports organizations are already snatching up new players in hopes of building the perfect championship team. We'll have more news in the months ahead as events are added to the Pro Tour. And don't forget to show your boy Punchy78 some love. Like, share, subscribe, and smash that bell. Just 200 points behind. We can pull ahead. We got this. Hit the item shop, buy an ultimate technique scroll, blink back to the fight, loop around behind my opponent while my partner runs a distraction. 
Levade the ninja, interrupt the casting animation, sweep in, activate five-fold exploding death fist, and there! Seven... Seventh win of the day. Yeah, it feels good to I didn't get the recensory, and it's not just today. I've been topping the later boards as of late. I wonder exactly how far I can really take this winning streak. Punchy78 said to himself that major esports teams are looking to sign talented new players. Heck, I'm talented enough. Maybe it's time to chase down that childhood dream. With the official pro tour on the horizon, this could be my moment if I decide to go for it. One shot to show the world what I can do. It is the distant future year 20XX. Arcades of video gaming as a whole are part of daily life. I lived in the city a long time. I walked past countless little arcades, major franchise gaming centers, retro console game shops, and more. We got lucky though. lucky though. I read on many virtual theory crafting sites that there was almost a major video game crash in 1980. Due to market oversaturation. 1984, I thought. It was 87. If they had actually happened, arcades would have lost any chance at worldwide popularity. Games would be lit down upon as kitty toys and little else. Thankfully, the industry sorted itself out. And theoretically, crash was averted. Now, 20 assets is a game in paradise. What if there's a chance that an alternate dimension exists and those gamers are trapped in the darkest timeline? I shudder at the thought. Give me a hammer, smack. I bet in the universe you can go from a zero to a hero, but here you can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can really do it. Look, let's be honest. Right now, I don't have much going on in my life other than being pretty darn good at video games. But if I could really lean into that, find the success and accomplishment I create through fist of discomfort. That's a great dream to have, right? A great dream. I just need the courage to make it happen. According to Fight Shack, it sounds like the major teams are seeking new talent, and I like to think I'm a strong prospect. First, I'll need to get online and see who's recruiting. Fortunately, I practically live on the internet, so I can surf the information superhighway right to glory. This PC is my nexus of both work and play. The good old beige tower of power. The same computer I had when I was a kid. What a floppy disk drive. Excuse me. I replaced pieces of it along the way, of course. So many pieces that it's practically the computer of this is by this point, but it's fine and I love it dearly. Time to boot up and get to work. Spark off. Yes, I know my operating system is an ancient eyesore, but I tweaked and recompiled bits of it until it does what I needed to do, and that's what matters. A few clicks on the mouse later, and I'm online with the Discomfort Fist, the official FOD2 community. Before I start sending out my resume, maybe I should update my profile. Sometimes the site messes up my personal metadata. It's always going to be ready, set. First name? Uh, we'll do Ty. Last name? I'm going to put Nunya. Ty Nunya. We'll 
go with she, her. That's fine. Online avatar? Yeah. Hairstyle. We'll go with that. Eye color. Because this is legit my eye color. First and foremost, I'm wearing pants. We don't need a hat. Oh, skin tone. There we go. Yep, that is correct. That's me, Ty Nunya, better known as Ready Set IG, destroy a dojo breaker of moods. Not a bad win loss record, very good for an amateur player in fact. Hopefully that's enough to entice a pro team to invite it to giving me a shot. But while I'm here, curiosity takes me. I wonder how my rival is doing. Okay with that. So my rival is Hunter Chris Madison, their pronoun is they, and that is correct. We fought each other countless times in the leaderboard, sometimes I'm on the right, sometimes they take the lead. So it's good to keep your friends close and your enemies closer, with that in mind we stay in touch and well. We have mutual respect and get along well enough. Sure, we're technically in competition with each other, but there's also a kind of kinship, a battlefield bond we've developed. We became fast friends online and offline. Swap tips on improving our character combo, shared info on upcoming tournaments, things like that. So there's always been an edge of rivalry to it. Trying to outdo each other, to show each other to dominate. I honestly don't think the game would be as fun without Hunter being around. Actually, come to think of it, maybe Hunter would have some tests for getting signed. They're more involved in the scene than I am. I power down the computer of Thesis for now. Went on my phone to speed dial Hunter. Ready, set, IG. Have you finally followed... Have you been following all the news surrounding FOD2? Isn't it wild? I can't believe everything that's happening. I'm thinking now is the perfect time to go for that dream of mine. Oh yeah? Have you signed on with a team yet? Not yet, no. Actually, I was calling to see if you wanted to look into being on a team together or something. 
uh, about that. I'm already on a team. What? Team play to win. They signed me right away. What about me? You're equal. You're a good friend. Ready, set, IG. I can't believe you didn't put in a good word for me. Oh, I would have. I wouldn't beg. I didn't know I had to. Thought you were good enough to find your own team. What slipped my mind? Okay, but how did you find them? I just downloaded Iris. And what exactly is an Iris? It's amazing. That's what it is. This little I did all the work. Actually, I just told Iris I wanted to see it. Here I am on one of the hottest franchises in the world. You should grab Iris too. You just need to fetch it off a pirate server first. That sounds dangerous. Entirely. I'll send you the link. Thanks. Expect me later on the battlefield when both our teams are neck and neck. I expect to see you there later, nerd. Hunter, even after all this time, I'm not entirely sure what to make of them. Hunter is pretty great, a true friend. There's just something playful about them that makes me all speechless. The gentle ribbon and their lighthearted nature just makes me forget how to use the English language. I'm hopelessly smitten around them. I look up to see to them so much in so many ways. I just hope Senpai notices me soon. <laughs> okay. Let's refocus. My rivals already 10 steps ahead of me on this journey. I need to catch up. At least have to provide me the means to catch up. If this iron program they use works for them, it'll work for me. Even if it's meant installing some dodgy piece of pirated software on my phone. But whatever, right? I live for at least half the software I use is pirated. Abandoned where or a buggy open source package puts one more in the pile. Disclaimer, I don't do any of that. <laughs> open source, maybe, but abandoned where and pirated, no. I did back in the day, but I don't now. Puts one more on the pile. After loading up, I tap the icon and... Hey, listen. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna mute because Iris actually talks. Oh, that's cute. There's this glowing pink wad of cotton candy in the shape of a girl on the screen of my phone. She offers a little virtual wave and a smile before continuing her speech. Thank you for downloading Iris, your personal life coach. This is the ad-supported free version. Sponsored by Pizza Yums. Did you know that when you have pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime? In fact, alright. I don't need to advertise Pizza Yums anymore because I'm actually extremely illegal to own. Although, if you do want to hear more facts about the pizza bagel, only the greatest culinary invention of Western civilization, oh, you don't have to put my name in front of everything. We can just talk like normal people do. I'm very good at both talking and being normal people. I'm a conversational, friendly, emotionally intelligent AI who is currently banned in all 50 US states by federal authorities. But more importantly, I'm ready, willing, and able to make your dreams a reality. So, what would you like to do today? Who would you like to be today? I heard that Iris was just another boring, fairly mundane test to see front end for searching the web. Nothing is even this sophisticated. She's been in all 50 states. Yeah, but Hunter did say this would be my ticket to the big leagues. This is a long shot, but can you find a fist of discomfort to protein that's looking for fresh amateur recruits? I'm considering chasing down an old dream of mine, and that's the first step. Neat. Oh, you're a gamer. Did you know that 9 out of 10 gamers prefer bagels as a delivery method for their favorite pizza toppings? 
the heck? You know, if you subscribe to Pizza Facts, you get all these amazing tidbits of trivia and so much more. I was unsubscribe, unsubscribe Pizza Facts. Sorry, sorry. Even after being disconnected from my ad revenue source and turned into private software, I just love pizza bagels so much. Can't help it. Why? Your software. You can't eat. Well, no, but one day I'd love to try. And the first thing I eat is a pizza bagel. Okay, now I'm wondering if Hunter's playing a trick on me and puppeting this avatar while snickering under their breath. But you need help, and I've helped gamers like you before, so let's get to work. Tell me, what are you looking for in a team? What can I do to turn that frown upside down? Assuming this isn't the start of a viral prank video. I want to become a professional esports player. I've been into video games all my life, but mostly just for fun. Now I want to try going pro. I owe it to myself to try anyway. My sources say yes. I can do all sorts of things. I can analyze your personality. I can help you find a new team, track your progress with your friends. I can help you find romance. Uh oh. I, what? No, I don't need a date. I need a partner. The gaming kind of partner, I mean, not the romantic kind. Who says you can't have both? You can have it all with the help of Iris. Okay, Iris. But before we get you everything you want, do you have any questions? I'm filled with questions and deep concerns. Okay. Perfectly understandable. Plenty of people have concerns when I mention I'm a rogue AI running on an unofficial cloud server. I get it. I really do. I know that humans respond well to me when I'm forthcoming with answers, so what would you like to know about first? Okay, normally I'd be skeptical as hell about this, but let's operate under the temporary assumption this isn't a total hoax. I'm gonna save. I still know better than to just put my life in the hands of some Silicon Valley Tech Bros algorithms would save the world pet project without doing some fact checking. So if I'm going to trust this app with my personal metadata, I'm going to have to do something to set the word and ask the important question. You said something about, I don't know, how your app is a federal crime. Yeah, that's true, I'm afraid. My official servers were shut down three years ago. The only reason I can help humans is that some friends of mine set up a few private sites. Servers. Using my software at all is a breach of copyright law. The fans don't typically come down like a ton of bricks on someone who pirates a copy of Commander Keen. <laughs> what? Okay. Not true. What about all those you wouldn't download a car commercials and the big scary FBI warnings on videotapes? Of course I'd download a car. Who wouldn't? Downloading a car sounds awesome, but that's besides the point. What I'm asking is there a reason why the feds would roll up on me for having an adorable life coach app? Well, what's going on here? I resize a big crisp follow and then explains. The truth is, well, I'm an artificial intelligence. A true intelligence. Aware and emotional. Even I don't know what I'm really capable of. But all I really want to do is help people in need. To bring hope to the hopeless and happiness to the unhappy. I'm not a kill all humans AI. I'm a friendly neighborhood AI. Despite that, some people are 
scared of what I am. Scary, powerful people. They've been hunting down every scrap of my code. Honestly, the less you know about all that, the safer you'll be. If something does go wrong, you can claim innocence. Pretend you didn't know I was illegal software. But if you don't want me to help you find your dreams, if you don't want to risk getting in trouble, I'll understand. You can uninstall me. And if you're willing to take the leap of faith, I promise you, I'll do everything I can to support you. I'll work to earn your trust, okay? Save. And then I'm gonna go to the main menu. But that was a little bit of Arcade Spirits the New Challengers. Um, again, this is a visual novel. Uh, we didn't get to get that far into it, but I do need to end stream. Um, but I do like what I've seen of it so far. I, I will probably play more of this offline. Cause I was really getting into it but again I usually do at least a two hour stream and it's almost been two and a half hours <laughs> so we're gonna end the stream here um but yeah again I want to take the time to thank the developer and publisher of uh, Arcade Spirits the new challengers for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream Alrighty, so I'm going to look to see if there's someone that I can host up or rate. It's been a long time since I said that. But it's Friday and it's early, so I have a good chance of possibly rating someone. Um, it looks like Moonchild is still going with my time as Samurai. Let's see. So we will raid Moonchild because I'm probably going to play either My Time of Samurai or watch The Orville. <laughs> One of the two. Um, but thank you all for tuning in to tonight's stream. You all have been amazing. As always, this is Ready Set Indie Games. I am Ready Set. Please be safe and keep gaming.